Yeah, so the GTX 1080 by MSI, which is a gaming X, and that one was, in this video, it's basically gonna be in stock at the first like couple of minutes, maybe five minutes, and then when it gets towards the middle, it's gonna show me loads of testing, me having loads of crushes. To be honest with you, to do overclocking and get the best overclock, you need to be able to hit crushes, hit walls, hit black screens, hit blue screens, and I've done all of that and also frozen screens and artif artifacts in. You gotta hit all of that before you can get a decent overclock. And then obviously you gotta take days and days and hours and hours just to be able to get a decent overclock and it's stable. So after you've hit your overclock, then you gotta to test to see if it's stable for hours and hours and hours. And that's what I've been doing for the last three days. And yeah, I really think that MSI GTX Gaming X like graphics card is a total beast it really is you can really do some nice overclocks with it uh it's super quiet the aesthetics it looks nice it's not the best aesthetics to look nice as a graphics card but it's msi's brand so they can do what they want with it but they should clearly change it up a little bit but yeah it is a fabulous card I couldn't say any more about it it's wicked for gaming it's wicked for um video editing and graphic design um, anything to do with graphics, 3D renders, anything like that, it is super beastly and powerful, it really is. But so basically this video is going to show you all the little walls that I've hit and everything like that and how I got to my overclock. It will show you temps, uh, but I was rushing through the temps pretty much. Um, so people that know about temperatures and stuff like that will kind of know what I'm going with and obviously the RPMs of the fans and how much percentage I've got of that the voltage that I put through the graphics card and I also use a 1600X uh, AMD CPU and I overclocked that to 4 gigahertz because it was more stable I didn't really want to push it to 4.1 and then I'm going for loads of overclocks and it crashed through everything else. I just wanted to focus and know that the CPU was okay and the memory was slightly overclocked to 2,660, uh, yeah, 2,666 megahertz. I didn't go to like 3,000 or 3,000, whatever. I just kept it, everything that was stable and everything that was kind of cool in the case because uh, I didn't want, because that graphics card does produce a lot of heat but the way they made it is sick. The heat just goes right at the front of the card and also you can feel it just layered on the top of uh, the back plate but it's good because where, you've, where I've got that reverse fan it's sucking the air, the hot heat's dissipated straight through the back and then it's kind of whooshing to the bottom and then coming up so if I've got the case closed, this is like a mini ITX, it done really well with temperatures, it was fabulous, really, really, really good card. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Basically, done loads of overclocks. Eventually, I've got a great stable overclock after three days' time. And yeah, here's the results. Check them out. Subscribe, like this video, share this video, and all that nice stuff. And don't forget to follow me on all social media. That means Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, and also, there should be there's a merch store. Probably been the links in the description down below. Go and check that out and then go and buy yourself a, a t-shirt, uh, hat, hoodie, whatever you want to do, have a look, buy something there. Um, and we've got an affiliate link down there for overclockers if you want to buy this graphics card, use that link, take you there and buy the graphics card or Amazon, whatever you want to do. But anyway, enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.